stuff zone what's up my people today we are talking about this cool light it shines up on the wall i know you've seen pictures online and what it looks like and when i first got it i put it in the center of the room and it shined on all you know all the surfaces the walls and the ceiling and whatnot but i was also blinded by looking directly at it and i thought to myself you know what like in the pictures it looks cool but for practical application, like you gotta put it behind something. So what I've done, as you can see, is I put it behind a TV and it, it shines up to the ceiling and on the wall. And it's pretty cool. It's just, it's something there for atmosphere. And I am very satisfied. It was not that expensive. And let me teach you how to use it because there's a bunch of different settings this is the setting that i normally keep it on this is the blue setting and when i have company over i like to hit this button and there it is okay so what is actually happening right now if you look on the ceiling is that it looks like you're underwater things are actually moving that's it's a design, it's not a static design. Let me, so you can actually see what's going on. I'll, I'll stop it if I, if I can. Wait, I know this one makes it go fast. There's actually different settings, like speed settings. So right now I'm hitting this lower button. I think this is as fast as it goes. And I'm not sure how to make it stop. Like once it's on, it's on. And now I'm trying to make it go slower. Ah, shoot. Let's turn it off and back on. So there it is, just regular. But when you hit this button, oh yeah, we're in the aquarium now. <laughs> so that, I mean, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Cause honestly, like when you're watching TV and whatnot, it's just a little bit something that's, you know, going on in the background. That's number one. Um, there's four colors. So this is the blue color. Um, and you can actually mix two colors together. So right now we are looking at blue and purple, or actually blue and red, which is kind of like creating like a purple, uh, you know, look. And the, the motion is on. And we can turn off, so that's back to blue. That's off. Okay, so that's blue. This is just red. Red light special. Yep, that's kind of cool. Um, I only I only keep it red when I know it's going down. Okay, so like <laughs> inviting a girl over for the first time, I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna keep it safe and blue. But if she's coming over a second time, yes, and we're going red. Um, that's how I like to switch it up. <laughs> I'm just saying, we got the green, the Joker green, and then we also have the white. And like I said, so those are your options. You can mix any of these two together. So here's white and green, okay? Here is white and blue. Here is white and red. Here is red and green, Christmas time. Here is red and blue. That's the, the purple one that we looked at. Here is, let's try some blue and green. So you, you get the idea. You can mix these together. And um, I mean, the controller, it, it, it does, I mean, there's a lot of buttons and it is kind of like, in my opinion, more than it needs to be. Let's go back to the blue because that's just what I like. It also has, if you hit this uh, button below the power button, it has these green, I'm actually glad that it's not working because I don't like when it's on. It has these green speckles. Okay, I'm not sure why the green speckles are not turning on, but that's okay because I actually do not like, there, there they are, wait a second. So these are the green speckles. 
Not my thing. Um, some people might like them. And they kind of like fade, as you can see, just kind of faded out. And in a couple more seconds, it will fade back in. And it just kind of looks like stars in the sky, I suppose. Like I said, not my thing. So you can turn those off by hitting this button right here. Um, but I normally keep them off just because I don't like it. Uh, I, I prefer the color. Here it is uh, with the, the green little uh, stars together in conjunction with the, the blue light. And since it's on a dimmer, they will, the green will come back in approximately four and a half seconds. Like I said. So let's turn these back off because I'm not a fan. And we're back to just the blue light. And as you can see, it's stationary. And let's just want to, let's just say we want to make it move again. I'll hit this button right here, this top one. And I'll point it at it. And we're back in the aquarium. So that's basically what this light is all about. Um, as I, you know, as I said, behind the TV, it's kind of like not the way that they advertise it, but that's the way that I like to use it. And I'm really happy with it, honestly. It, it really is like a low key way to set the vibe. And yeah, it just feels right. You know, it's, it's very subtle, but it does the job. So uh, if you want to check it out, I'm going to leave the link, of course, in the description, as always. And once again, thank you for watching this video. If you watched this far, definitely please give this a like, subscribe to the channel. I review a bunch of random-ish. So uh, hope you got some value from this, and I'll see you in the next one.